So today I'm going to show you how we do the reporting for our Google Ads clients, what we share with them and why. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, a Google Ads agency owner for the last nine years. One of the most frequent questions I get from other agency owners as well as from students is, how do you do reporting for your Google Ads clients? This is a question I get a lot because I will see some reports from other companies that they've sent them to their Google Ads clients, and I have taken a look at some of these, and I'll sometimes ask myself, why would you ever send this to a client? And what I mean by that is sometimes there is absolutely nothing of any good value you in that report. And here's an example of one of those reports. As you can see here, all it shows are impressions and clicks. It doesn't show the amount spent, it doesn't show the click-through rate, and it does not show, most importantly, conversions or calls. And that's what I care about. I don't care about impressions, I don't care about clicks. If I'm spending money, I care about how many people became a lead for my business. Because what we measure for our clients is calls to the business and people who fill out the forms. And the reason is, is because those are the only things that drive revenue. Impressions mean nothing. Clicks mean nothing. I can show your ads to a million people. I can get a million people to click on your ads. But if it's not the right type of person who are viewing or clicking those ads, not one of them will become a client. And if I can't show my client exactly how many people have filled out forms to become leads or how many people have called their business based on our efforts, they should not be doing business with me. So a number of years back, I put together a very comprehensive report that pulls really almost too much information information for my clients and I give it to them. And I do this for three reasons. This report gives them actual statistics. Not only can they see clicks and impressions, but they can see how many calls, how many people filled out webworms, ad spend, absolutely everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. This report is seven pages long. Here's a quick look. The second reason is transparency. I give them this report because I want to not only show them what they're getting, but that I don't really have anything to hide. They hired me to do a job and they can now see that I'm doing that job. I'm not just giving them handpicked statistics to make it look like we're effective. I'm showing them that we are effective. And third, I give them a report like this to keep them out of the Google Ads account. The more information I give them up front, the more likely this is going to keep them out of the account. And the reason I want to keep them out is simple. It's their account. I just don't want them to accidentally click or change anything as this has actually happened to us in the past. And also this report is much easier to read and understand for them than trying to hop around and find information from inside the Google Ads account, especially if they aren't used to doing that and don't know where to find things. But here's a big bonus about this report. At the end of the month, I don't actually have to send my clients anything. And that's a process that we used to do. At the end of every month, I would go through and I would gather all of the statistics and put them on a nice report and send them to all my clients and that would take me about two days. But this report that I built actually pulls data directly from Google Ads and directly from our call tracking software and puts them all on one report. So when I start working with my clients, I literally give them this link to this report. And the best part is this report updates automatically. It updates 24-7, 365 by pulling that data from both sources and putting them on this report. My clients can see exactly what's happening with their campaigns whenever they want. It's very very convenient for them and it's really convenient for me as I just have to build the report once at the beginning of the campaign which I just have to attach their accounts which takes me less than five minutes and they have complete access to see what's happening and they can go in and they can actually change the date and look at the entire life cycle of the campaign whenever they want. And if you'd like a report like this for your clients, this is just one of the many templates that I include for my students inside of my ads agency course called Ads Agency Unlocked. This is where I show my students how to start a Google Ads agency from scratch or scale their already existing agencies. And I share with you everything that I've done to start, build, and scale my agency. If you wanna read more about it, there's a link in the description area below. So what kind of reporting do you use for your agency or do you use any at all? Let me know in the comment section below as I would really love to hear about it. And if you receive some good value out of this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that little bell icon, and you'll be notified of uh, when we release new videos each and every week, and it really helps us in the eyes of YouTube. And over to the right-hand side, you will see some more Google Ads agency-related videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.